So hello, we're in uh, Lewis and Clark County, Montana today. Beth and I are going to look for Drosera linearis, a real, a real oddity here in Montana. It's usually found in the Great Lakes. Um, I've been here once before with Beth, and uh, that was late fall. The plants were just in hibernacula. We're hoping this time that we'll be able to find them in leaf. Uh, uh, we've been given this site information from our great friends at uh, Montana Natural Heritage Program. Yay. Uh, there are 16 sites, uh, 16 ponds, fens, and, uh, and uh, uh, maybe just meadows that I've identified on Google Earth. I want to look at each one. Uh, probably we're just going to find the Drosera linearis in both sites if we're lucky. Maybe we could find more. That would be totally cool. Uh, Beth and I are kind of sticking near each, uh, nearer to each other um, on this hike because not only is this black bear country, we've seen black bear here before, but it's also grizzly bear country. So we both have our cans with us that we're hoping we're not going to have to pull out of our pockets. So, but that's the risk that we're taking today. Okay. So this is Drosera linearis habitat. Also occurs with Utricularia minor. It's mostly growing out on this, on the mud and the sedges. For those of you who thought that Drosera linearis could not occur in Montana, there you are. That was a few minutes ago. My legs are washed. <laughs> but Beth, you just saw a grizzly bear. I saw a grizzly bear. <laughs> Holy mother. <laughs> uh, hi, guys. Okay, so it's day number two. Yesterday, we uh, went up to the site. We found Drosera linearis. Uh, we were planning on going uh, into clearing after clearing after clearing. I underestimated how horrible the terrain was. Many years ago, there's been a fire. A lot of trees have been knocked down by the winds. And so it's like impossible to climb around through there. So it took us a long time to, um, to go through the terrain. Uh, we went to several sites, we saw what they were like, I compared them with aerials, and today we're just going to be much more conservative and we're just going to see if we can get to the second site where they reported Drosera linearis. This gives you an idea of how crappy it is to try to hike through this terrain. So we've reached the second site that we want to go to. It's a, a big open area. There's open water in the middle, a lot of sedges. We've learned that those long sedges that are you're seeing in the middle of the picture right now are probably not very uh, fruitful. So we're thinking that maybe we want to be on either the left or the right side of that open body of water. <laughs> 